Hello G fans, Steve Blackard here again and uh, back on the generator project. This is video number four uh, of our generator rebuild, rehash, re refurbish project. So uh, the, last, the last one we did, we took the generator apart and got the, the armature out. So I've got the armature here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about cleaning first. Um, what I use is this quick dry electrical cleaner. It's great stuff. It, uh, you can get it at any hardware store. Um, but it's, it's, it evaporates very quickly. So I just took the armature outside and I s held it up and I sprayed it down, let it run off, and then took a paper towel and wiped off the excess. Now I also cleaned the commutator here a little bit. You can see it's a bit shiny. It was really, really dirty before. And so I just took some fine sandpaper and just roughed it just to get down some clean copper so I can get good readings off it. Now after I, after I use the sandpaper, I use that quick dry cleaner to rinse it off, flush it out, and I also use a clean old toothbrush to brush it and clean out those little those, the little gaps between the commutator bars. The bars are separated by mica, and they're undercut about thirty thousandths of an inch, so so they insulate each bar from each other. So this works really well. Another thing that really is just good is a plain old pointy toothpick. You can use that for scraping out each gap here. But you don't want to use a metal tool because this copper is soft and you can ding up the copper. So just a little, a little toothpick like this works really very well. So now I'm at the point of ready to test it. So I'm going to set this aside. So we're going to do three tests here now. We're going to do, I'm going to check for opens, shorts, and grounds. Now this is a growler. Uh, you've probably heard the term before. Uh, this is kind of a deluxe growler. It checks, does three things. M most common growlers just do one. It just checks for shorts. Uh, and, that, and that's fine because that's one of the major tests. And this one we can do a couple other tests. So when I check for shorts, this is what you may have heard about. You use a hacksaw blade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and it makes a lot of noise. It kind of growls and that's where it gets the name. And I'm going to hold a hacksaw blade above the, the, the armature and then I'm going to rotate the armature 360 degrees. And if there's a short somewhere, that 120 volt AC will cause this the, the, the blade to oscillate back and forth like that. If it's good, it won't do anything. So we're going to do that test now. So I'm going to turn this on. Go ahead and get back a little because it's, going to be, it's, it's a bit loud. And, uh, and then I'm going to rotate and we'll watch it. So you hear it growling. So I'm going to hold the blade above it here. And I've got the keyway here as, a, as of my, so I have a reference point of where I started. So, so rotate it. Notice the blade's not moving. Just, I'm just holding it above it. Okay, I'm going 360 degrees and no vibration from the blade, so that means it passed the short test. So that's good. It means there's no shorted coils in it. So that's really good. The next test I'm going to do is I'm going to test for open circuits. Each pair of commutator bars has wires that run down around the armature and back up. And that's a, each one generates a little bit of, of, of voltage here. So this is what's going to be a little tricky to show you. And uh, my son's helping me video. You know, let him come around the other side here. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm, as you notice how the wires go about 90 degrees over. So I'm, I'm going to have a set of commutator bars down at the bottom and then 90 degrees up will be over here uh, at the, at the, um, on the side. So I'm going to be taking two probes and touching two adjacent commutator bars when this is on and the meter should move up just a little bit. Each set of bars should be generating a little bit of voltage so it'll measure that as I do it. So what I would do is I would measure two bars then I would rotate it just a little bit to the next two set of bars, measure those Rotate it again, measure those, and do that all the way around. So I'm not going to do all of them, I'm just going to do one to show you what it looks like here. Okay. So, it's, okay, so I'm going to measure these two, and you see how it jumps up on the meter there? That's a good sign. So I would rotate it, and I would measure... Another set, you see how it jumps up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to shut that off. So that's how I would be checking for opens, opens on each set of bars all the way around. And the last test we're going to do is uh, the ground test. 
and that's pretty simple. You can do that with, with just with a with a multimeter at home too. I'm going to set it to ground. I'm going to touch one probe just to the shaft here, and then I'm going to run this this probe around all the commutator bars to make sure that they're not grounded to the frame of the armature. If it is, the red light. See, touch this. The red light comes on. So I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to run this probe all the way around and see if the light comes on. And I don't see it. Let me go from the other side here now. Okay, all the way around and no ground. So that's a good sign. So the so we just checked, tested the armature now for opens, shorts, and grounds, and we've proven that it passed all those tests, so the armature is good. So that's a really good sign. Overall, this generator is actually in really good condition, so um, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with what I've seen so far. Um, some of, the some of the insulation is deteriorating a little bit around some of the windings, and we're going to deal with that once uh, we get done. But the next step after this is going to be uh, working on the commutator. I'm going to set it up in the lathe. We're going to look at runout to see how much runout there is. In other words, how far, how wobbly it is off the center of the shaft. And then I'm going to true it up in the lathe. Just take a few thousandths of an inch off the commutator to smooth it up. Because you can see these ridges where the... Uh, brushes have worn, and it's 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 not bad. Um, this, a lot of times you could just clean this up with some fine sandpaper, but uh, I'll set it in the lathe and just true it a little bit, and then we'll clean it up and we'll get this armature all all prepared and ready to use, and then we'll move on to some of the other parts. So that's it for uh, for this edition. Uh, hope you like what you're seeing. If you got any questions, be sure to put them in the comments, and I'll, I'll try to answer them along the way. So that's it for now. I'll get back with you later.